hello. It's been a little while and I am far more glamorous now than the last time I spoke to you. I just got my AYM delivery, which I ordered three months ago. Three months. We're not mad about it. Small businesses struggling, Royal Mail strikes, support strikes. It's fine, it is what it is, but it was worth it. Oh my God, look at this dress. It's got a um, like a corset thingy here, which is why I look like this. I just love this. I just did a unboxing thingy my bob on TikTok. <gasps> Excuse me, spoiler alert. It's beautiful, you don't even need to go on the TikTok. This dress, as well as everything else that brand does, is flawless. Actually, speaking of, a few people actually asked this year sorry, if we're doing more swimwear, and we're not this year, but everything crossed that there is more on the way at some point in the future. 2023? No. Oh my god, that's what we are now. We are 2023. <laughs> 2024. You never know. I'm hoping we do. But for obvious reasons, they're not able to produce swimmer at the moment, seeing as their usual dresses are taking three months. But anyway, uh, because the last time I spoke to you was after the operation, I thought I'd give you a quick update. I feel fine. I feel normal, completely back to normal. I was in pain, like just ugh, gross for four or five days and then literally back to normal. So yeah. All is good. I am going to the doctor on Wednesday to get the results of the thingy my bobs that were sent off. I got the post surgery like very mini report today in the post. And I don't want to say it wasn't good, but it did say that there was stuff going on, uh, which we knew because that's when I had the operation. And all that matters is the results of these tests. So there's no point in me thinking or worrying about something that hasn't happened, might not happen. The, the results literally, I don't know them yet. So what? we're going to wait until Wednesday. It's Friday now. I've been trying really hard to occupy myself. <laughs> it will be fine. It will be fine. I am just about to start a little vision boarding session. I know it's very new year of me to do, but it's been on my to-do list since July last year. And now that it's January, I'm like, I don't have an excuse. Make your new vision board. Cause the last one I made was two or three years ago. But the difference that two or three years can make in what you hope your future looks like is mad, like really mad. I'll show you. This is the little station that I've built. <laughs> this is a brand new, um, Piece of hard like it's like just a really chunky piece of card if you can see um, I'll leave a link to it because it's just from Amazon but it's really cool so I don't want to show you everything obviously because it is very personal but these are some of the things that were on my vision board that I picked off last um, last year your very classic Pinterest photos flowers the usual pictures with me and family of course uh, now let me show you a few of the things that are going to go down now. So we have chickens. Didn't mm. oh. oh look at the dog in the front seat! Look at the dog in the front seat! Did you see that? Did you see it? Oh, oh there was a dog in the front seat of that car. Chickens. <laughs> Didn't ever think I'd be a countryside wanting to live there. I want chickens, so now I am. A cottage. A dog. I don't actually want geese. I just think this looks very country living cuteness. An ingle nook fireplace. Something I want more than I can actually put into words. The dream for our home, but this is my dream, <laughs> is just coziness. That is number one on what is important to me in a home and like one is safety. I mean, everyone's number one is safety, but two right below safety <laughs> is coziness. I don't care how big or how flash or how modern or how many gadgets or <laughs> just, I just want it to be cozy. I just want to feel like safe and warm and oh, I want cozy Christmases. 
and a dog. Um, obviously a dog. Adventures with dog. How beautiful is that photo? I've taken all of these from Pinterest and I just get all my photos printed from free prints. And I just had a massive session of saving pictures on Pinterest, going through my existing pictures. What the hell are you watching? Yeah, that's awful. I don't like that sound. Pictures with friends. It's much easier that I just don't show you anyone's face rather than me having to text them and say, would you mind your face being in a video for four seconds that no one's gonna watch? So friends, there's friends there. <laughs> Those are more friends. <laughs> um, adventures, adventures, nothing specific. Like I don't really specifically want to climb a mountain and drink coffee on it. Although that sounds fucking lovely. Maybe I actually do want to do that. But just the like general idea of adventuring and wholesome adventuring and I want to do more holidays, but not like four days in Palma. I want to like experience new places, not live there, but like not stay in a hotel, like get absorbed into just different stuff. You know, it's been so long since I've done anything like that. Oh yeah, look what else I printed. <laughs> That's gonna be me. <laughs> I feel like I've been chatting for quite a while. 11 and a half minutes, yes, quite a while. I hope your new year is going well. And if it's not, your whole year isn't doomed. It is such a weird time of year where people reflect on the whole of 2022 as if it was one event and they're like, my new, my year was good, my year was bad. I know there is in between, but I feel like that's this kind of message that I get, like I absorb from being online over the past couple of weeks. It's very like, it just makes 2022 like seem like literally one block of time. It is not. There's no one to tell you that like this chunk of time starts here and it ends here. It doesn't make sense. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna get out of this dress, even though it's fabulous. I'm gonna strange hand movement. I'm gonna get changed and sit down and glue things to my beautiful new vision board. One more thing, and then I will stop the run and look at my nails. I ah oh, oh my god. They're amazing, aren't they? They are just a French manicure with a chrome, pearly chrome finish. But I was making myself laugh because I put them on my story yesterday and when I got to the nail shop, I was like, I took a photo and I was like, I'm doing something different today. <laughs> and then I did these and I'm like, oh, it's so sad that that is different for me. A very subtle layer of sheen <laughs> is my like different. <laughs> anyway, rambling, I've not even had a coffee today. Just, just rambles from the heart. Ow, oh my God, my knees, oh my God. Ooh. One more view of the dress. Do, do, do. Let me show you it full length because it is gorgeous. day two of making my vision board and watching old old Jenna marbles on YouTube but I'm in the the final stages so I'm like cutting out all the small bits and this is just making me laugh more than it should hello tiny little bee <laughs> I just cut him out of a holiday photo <laughs> it's not even funny I don't want to show you all of it because you know it's very personal but I do want to show you like a few little bits and bobs just in case you also love an afternoon of cutting things out and sticking things down. <laughs> day afternoon, this is literally day two. I think I've spent four or five hours on this so far. So this here is my home corner of the vision board. It's not that literal. I found like, I don't literally want a fireplace like this. And if I get chickens, which by the way I do want, I don't need the coop to look like this. It's kind of just the general feeling you get. So for me, it's like 
nature, growing shit, being sustainable, having a view would be lovely. Obviously, I love all these images, but like, I'm, I'm not fussed that I don't end up with a home exactly like that. But what I've done through all of them is just little things of masking tape and then just little words that represent how I want the home to feel. So I've written like, welcome, I want it to be welcoming and I've written everything we need because I want obviously that. <laughs> and now I'm just moving on to the last section and I printed these photos out just because I really liked them and I think I would like baking and beautiful things to be part of my future so I'm going to cut these out and put them in somewhere and the reason there is a love heart in the middle of the whole thing is because um, love is the centre of everything. Duh. can't even see me that's better it is currently Thursday Thursday afternoon and I've just been doing my work at my desk hello desk I am gonna give this room a re -zhuzh. let me show you it so oh, why is her boob always out I'm not joking I think when I walk past her I must nudge it the tiniest amount and her boob is always out um this is my wardrobe room and office and everything room and this is what it looks like i mean it's just dead boring isn't it obviously i wouldn't have so much ikea if any if i had the choice but i just cannot be spending the type of money that built-in wardrobes cost it's just it's crazy i had big plans when we moved in here i wanted this all to be built in and i wanted like a built-in desk as well and then i wanted to redo these doors because really weirdly these doors don't fit you see how they sit that is how they always look uh, which annoys me but there's nothing i can do about it those aren't real drawers they're fake drawers it's <laughs> it's just it's just a bit weird but like i said it's too expensive for me to be changing it at the moment but i can i think give this room a little bit of something to make it just feel a little bit more alive i guess so that is what i'm going to spend this afternoon doing and giving it like a really deep clean as well because that makes everything feel nicer doesn't it okay let's do a little transformation probably a very small transformation but let's do it anyway Sway there in all the
the colors So I'm not going to win any interior design awards, sorry the squeaky floorboard, but this is just, this is just fine. I didn't realise but I've had this rug in the loft and it has got some sort of stain on it. So I'm probably realistically not going to keep this here but it's kind of like nice and bright in the meantime. Sorry that floorboard is so annoying. I've literally just got some girly shit and put it out. I mean. <laughs> I've got my gorgeous Lebanese crystal and the usual stuff. Again, like I said, I'm not winning any awards <laughs> for interior design, but this is sort of like, I feel probably the best that I can do with this face without, you know, doing anything actually to it. And that is a very lovely spot to work in. Just before I finish the vlog, I actually went to um, the surgeon last night for my follow-up after the operation and all is well, all is good. The polyps that were sent off for testing came back as completely normal, completely fine. No abnormal cells, literally nothing to worry about, no follow-up needed, all good. So that is very reassuring to know and I can stop thinking about that, take that one little brain stress out of my brain. But if you feel like you are worried about something, go and see a doctor because it's probably nothing like it was for me, but you're only gonna find out if you find out. So if you've been putting it off, stop putting it off. Just do it, just, just do it. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have an afternoon of emails to do as we are so, 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 so close to the launch of my project all my energy is now focused on that and I have a lot of nervous energy building up inside of me every day so I'm just just focusing on that one thing but to be honest the next time I speak to you I will you will know what it is because I would have talked about it on Instagram and if you don't I will be showing you in all its gorgeous detail exactly what it is that my life has been dedicated to for the past couple of years <laughs> well it's not been a couple of years the process started a couple of years ago but yeah anyway all be clear and um i will stop being cryptic so that's really good thank you so much for watching this vlog i really really appreciate it and i will speak to you really really soon with some really exciting things going on i love you bye Off your new jacket. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this horrible, what's that? Crusty plant. <laughs>